An entrance is often the most exciting part of a wrestler's presentation, whether it's through their music, pyro, or the specific things the wrestler does to make them stand out. The unique ways in which wrestlers differentiate their entrance is what we'll discuss today as we look at 10 more iconic wrestling entrance quirks. Number one, Triple H spits water. The game took such a basic action like drinking water on his way to the ring and made it something special. Triple H initially just took a few sips of the bottle, poured it over his head, and then threw it away before entering the ring like normal. This eventually evolved into him spitting water up in the air to create the awesome visual we all recognize today. He calls himself now the king of kings and his, his entrance tonight. Wow. Listen to this, this crap. The game is back. <laughs> From the harsh lighting to the wide camera shot followed by the close-up that syncs so well with the music. People ask me, like, what do you hold in your mouth that makes the water spray out like that? And I'm like, I want water in my mouth. All of this helped make Triple H's entrance truly spectacular. Stop it right there! Stop the music now! I ain't got time to watch you spray that stupid ass water all over the crowd. Number two. Mr. Perfect chews gum. Sometimes it's also the little things that help make an entrance. Various wrestlers have chewed gum on their way to the ring down the years, but none did it as cool as Mr. Perfect. Press the hitman heart. The way he would spit the gum out and then slap it away was just brilliant, especially given the expert timing required to catch the gum before it hit the ground. Has anyone ever filmed the people that the gum lands on? I would like to say it would be the first one to make a mistake, but... All because of Axel's. Perfect was even able to catch other wrestlers' gum in his own mouth. Mr. Perfect also had Jedi Master-like control when it came to throwing a towel, especially when he'd throw it up in the air from behind and catch it perfectly every time. Mr. Perfect! Number three, Kane's Pyro. Kane's Pyro certainly got people out of their seats. The fire shooting out of the ring posts like cannons quickly became a staple of Kane's entrance. The big red machine had some of the loudest pyro in wrestling. Hello, hellacious animal! which usually gave the fans, announcers, and sometimes even wrestlers a jump scare any time Kane came out. Pyro of this nature isn't without its dangers though, which is why you'll notice the people in the ring standing away from Kane's pyro any time it goes off. Big red monster, look out! There should have been some big explosions and some fire. Kane's in Paris, King. Number four, Bret Hart gives sunglasses to a kid. Involving the crowd is a great way to add to an entrance. This can be by encouraging chants or making fans part of the show. Bret Hart was loved by people of all ages. It was incredibly heartwarming anytime the hitman gifted his sunglasses to a member of the audience. The young fans' reaction said it all, as they just experienced the moment they would remember for the rest of their lives. Gives this little lady just as he did a moment ago. That's the effect of it. Number 5, Rey Mysterio jumps out of the stage. Just like Brett, Mysterio was also a massive fan favorite. Rey's special connection with the fans could be seen when he made his entrance, especially when he would share a moment by gifting fans with one of his masks and giving them words of encouragement. I love you, Yes! I love you! I love it! Yes! I love it! But earlier in his WWE career, Rey wowed audiences by jumping from underneath the stage. And all of a sudden, he just pops up launched into the air. The way Mysterio leaped into the air like a superhero made him feel larger than life. He lands every single time like a real life superhero. His entrance perfectly complemented his mass character and high flying in ring style. Number six, Eddie Guerrero driving a lowrider. Eddie lit up SmackDown during the Ruthless Aggression era. We all loved his matches and segments, but Guerrero also entertained us with his entrance by driving to the ring in a lowrider. Riding in the lowrider for the first time. Shot down in that lowrider. That bad boy was going up and down. Through that windshield with shorty eyes. Even though sometimes it got damaged or even stolen, Eddie always had a new ride the next week. Guerrero, a classic lowrider for the WWE Champion. Latino Heat also welcomed a host of different passengers on board. Who would have thunk it? 
Number seven, The Undertaker rides a motorcycle. The dead man made his mark in the Attitude Era by driving a motorcycle to the ring and switching up his character to something more true to his real life self. The biker persona helped reinvent Taker and a big part of this was his entrance. Riding to the ring with Kid Rock or Limp Bizkit as his theme music, the Phenom never looked cooler. On their feet! This will be a slumber knocker! Number 8, Stacy Keebler entering the ring. Stacy had a unique way of entering the ring that had the cameraman scrambling to get in position while Jerry Lawler went nuts on commentary. Oh, this may be my favorite match of all the oh, oh, watch this part. Come on, cameraman! Yes! The cameraman never seemed to get the exact angle the king was looking for. My favorite entrance! Stacy, Stacy! Oh! Where's the cameraman? He's always in the wrong place at the wrong time! Watch, watch, watch! Hold on to your head! Why is the cameraman always on the wrong place? Get out! Whoa! However, the WWE video games made sure to get the right angle though, so you can guess who Lawler was playing as. Number 9, Melina does the splits. Melina's impressive flexibility was on display as she entered the ring by performing the splits. The fabulous oh. Lula, Leilani Kai, Alundra Blade. Oh. The paparazzi made sure to get the best shots of her as she walked down the ramp, while the WWE's cameraman was in position to record the splits. Unlike with Stacey though, Lola didn't go as crazy for Melina's entrance, given she joined the Raw roster at a time when King was in the process of toning down his character. Yes she was, and that's very impressive as well. Number 10, Stone Cold talks trash. From the moment the glass broke and Austin walked through the curtain, he became Stone Cold. Austin came to the ring with a purpose, talking trash as he walked down the ramp and then entered the ring, climbing to all four turnbuckles with his middle fingers raised while swearing the whole time. The cameras were never able to pick up Austin's cursing, which meant he had free reign to say whatever he liked. It was just a constant stream of F-bombs, yeah, that's right, motherfucker's about to tear this motherfucker's ass. It was just that. Walk to the ring with that bad motherfucker walk because he was sending a message to the other guy in that ring. I'm fixing to whip your fucking ass. All I was thinking, you got that shit right, motherfuckers. You got that shit right. We're going to raise hell up in this motherfucker. And that brings us to the end of this video. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you like this one, be sure to check out our first installment of 10 iconic resting entrance quirks. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.